Hi there folks, I've got another video for you. This one is about a new blade hub I've been working on and uh, just to warn you the, the, the video clips and images are going to come pretty fast here so I don't know if I can keep up, keep up with my narration so I apologize in advance and just pause on something if uh, you need more explaining. Um, so w what we're looking at here is a um, Missouri Wind and Solar 24 volt uh, alternator with a 17 millimeter shaft and, uh, and Thermodyne KT blades um, mounted on my new hub. Uh, <clears throat> I know a lot of you guys have these uh, turbines or something like it, obviously the rest of it's homemade, um, but if, if, uh, if you have a test station um, you may be interested in, in getting one of these hubs and uh, that's kind of the point of this video and also to kind of get your your thoughts and uh, if you're not interested in one just, just still make a comment or uh, let me know but um, <clears throat> uh, to the hub um, what's unique and different about this and you're gonna see a CAD program here is I wanted the air to flow all through the hub and around the, the roots of the blades and of course get a little greater blade diameter right um, for for increased uh, um, <clears throat> Uh, power there and there you can see the standard hub that's the one that's flying and uh, and then the 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 other part is to uh, have it be modular in a, in a way so I can extend the blades further out if uh, you know if if that's possible um, I did add a little bit of kickback to mine so there is a oh I don't know it's three degree um, area that kicks back and then look at the one the blade hub on your right that's the one that I want to make available. Um, the smaller one is 14 inches in diameter, but this larger one is uh, 19 inches, and I haven't tested it yet. And so, if, if if you guys are interested in this thing, keep in mind it's an experimental um, hub. I'm not going to put it on eBay. I'm just going to make it available through this video. If you if you're interested, just send me a private message and say yes, I like that that blade. That blade does fit the KT blades. Um, the bolt hole pattern matches up with the, the root of that of that blade um, only and it's a tight fit there's a lot of handwork that gets done with it uh, uh, the the center hole how it's it's set up it's meant to fit my particular lathe so I can bore the hole and then finish it with a hand reamer and then all the holes that the blades mount onto are are, are tight and you, you'll notice there's not much jiggle with the uh, the 5 16th bolt that goes through there but uh, at any rate, I digress. Um, <clears throat> there you see it again. Um, I don't have uh, uh, an anemometer at the house. I have another test location where I, I have it, so I need to, I guess, get another one of those. And the way I was thinking about it was, there's so many of you guys out there that have these sort of turbines, and uh, that it would be nothing to just put them on what you already have, and then kind of see the results and hopefully you would post a video of it and and it's, it's nothing that that I'm, I'm gonna make great claims about but I, I think it it makes sense to me that it would um, help out quite a bit so anyway uh, please if, if you're interested just just it is only for the KT blades it's only the ones that's 84 inches in diameter and it's an experimental hub if you're interested just send me a private message and, uh, and, and I'll need to know your zip code at least so we can kind of figure out shipping on that and uh, and the price by the way will will have to be hundred and fifteen dollars because um, of all the handwork that happens afterwards but um, but um, didn't want to make this too commercial but uh, hope you guys are interested and if you're not um, please leave a comment and uh, with that I'll say thank you very much and until next time